Hi everybody, you got your Miss Anne here from the Ontario Public Library. Welcome back to our virtual story time holiday series. So we are doing all virtual stories from now, the Tuesday after Thanksgiving, all the way through the rest of the month of December. We will be doing a virtual story for you every Tuesday morning which is when Miss Ann would normally do her in-person story time, but we're gonna go to you all virtual for the rest of this time so that everybody who wants to can maybe participate in Miss Ann holiday fun, which is sort of tricky to get to the library during the holidays. Also, we still have this super fun COVID stuff going on. So we're gonna give you guys this option so that you can have some library holiday fun with Miss Ann. The library is still open. If you wanna come and get any of the books that we do in this entire series, or really any other books or movies or whatever, or say hi to Miss Anne. She always loves seeing you. The library is there for you. But we thought we would just make it be a little bit easier for you guys to see us during this holiday time. Because you're very, very busy. And that is what this first book is actually gonna be about. All of the preparations that we do to get ready for the holidays. Even though the story that we're gonna read today, all of it is happening like right when Christmas, like right before Christmas, like on December 23rd or something like that. But actually all of the stuff that happens in this book is probably things that you guys will be doing starting this week and going all the way through the rest of this holiday time. So I'm gonna show you the book. But first I'm going to show you that I have my very fancy sparkly tree that goes with this book. Miss Anne has a sparkly sweater on today, sparkly necklace on today, and fancy-ish sort of curly hair to go along with our fanciest book because we are going to do the classic Fancy Nancy Splendiferous Christmas. We have a lot of Fancy Nancy books at the library. This is only one of them. So if you've never met Fancy Nancy before, who is a very fancy girl, we have lots of these other Fancy Nancy books where she celebrates other holidays, goes to school, does all sorts of other cool stuff. And we have them in the picture book section, have them in the easy reader section, and we even have a whole Fancy Nancy mystery series when Nancy gets a little bit older in the series section where she solves mysteries, probably in a very fancy way. And Fancy Nancy is a really cool book too because she explains a lot of words that we've never maybe heard before. We are also gonna talk about important Christmas related, holiday related things, which are waiting. Because I feel like during the holidays, we do a lot of waiting and like, when is this gonna happen? When is this gonna happen? How many sleeps until we get to have Christmas time? We're gonna talk about that with this book. We're gonna talk about being excited for seeing people that maybe you haven't seen in a long, long time because it might've been a little while since you've seen some people because of how we haven't been able to get together as much as we'd like to lately. And we are going to just talk about any kind of like, maybe Christmas kind of prep stuff that you might be interested in doing and talk about with your grown up if it's anything that you'd be interested in doing this year maybe that you hadn't planned on. So we're gonna do all of that when we read Fancy Nancy Splendiferous Christmas. And it is written by Jane O'Connor and it's illustrated by Robin Price Glasner. So Fancy Nancy, as her name says, is very fancy. Her books are always very glittery. You can see this one is very, very glittery. She has on the most splendid tutu I've seen in a little while. And she has this whole like candy cane kind of outfit on. She's very excited. So that's kind of the cool thing that I like about Fancy Nancy is even though she's very fancy, she doesn't make you feel bad if you don't like fancy things. She just likes things to be fancy and special for her. And if you want to share that, cool. If not, she lets you, she's a really nice girl and she lets you be fancy in your own way or not fancy at all if that's not your thing. So we're gonna talk about, this is the whole beginning of this book is talking about prepping for Christmas stuff. So let's pay attention and see what stuff that you are doing with your family 
to get ready for the holidays. Is it the same thing? Is it different things that you do with your family? It's kind of about holiday traditions and what do you do that might be different than Nancy? What might be the same thing? So let's check it out because we start out. This is what Nancy's house looks like. So it looks, it's very snowy there. It did snow last week here, but it's not definitely as snowy as it is at Nancy's house. So you can see dad shoveling and Nancy and her little sister are making a snowman. And she says, our house never looks fancy except Ta-da! At Christmas time! Look at how fancy and decorated the outside of Nancy's house is. Look at it. There's lights everywhere and garland. Her house has a giant bow on it that almost looks makes it look like a big present. And my goodness, they're very busy. They even dress up the snowman. And you can look and see, I don't know if you do decorating in your house like this. Ms. Nan definitely doesn't go this far. But maybe you have a place where you like to go see people that have their houses lit up like this, or not exactly like this, this seems like a lot, but maybe there's other places around that you might go and look at it. Maybe there's other places that you might go and see lights that you like to look at. But this is a tradition that some people do. They decorate their houses for the holidays. I love Christmas so much. It's important to find a tree with a wonderful aroma. That's a fancy word for smell. Did you guys know that? Did you know that aroma is smell? So what is the aroma of a tree, like a Christmas tree? Some people, like Miss Ann, have a plastic tree, but you can get real ones. So some people have fake ones, that's their tradition. Some people get real ones. Some people don't do trees at all. But if you do, do you know what the Christmas tree would smell like? It has like, it smells kind of outdoorsy and earthy. It smells like, there's a, there's like a very specific smell. It's almost like a bitingy sharp smell, but I really like it. It's like, they call it pine or evergreen or something like that. See if you can find um, a tree that looks like this that's not fake. And take a little sniff of it and see what it smells like. I always think that bigger is always better. See that she has, she wants like a giant tree that she can stand underneath it. That's how big it is. But my dad says that we must compromise. So maybe if you go and pick out Christmas trees, you fight over which one's the best one. I have definitely done that one with my brothers and said, I want this tree, I want this tree. But dad says that we must compromise, which means that you find a tree that everybody likes. Or maybe it's not the tree that you like the best or your brother likes the best, but the one that you guys both think is pretty good. So you compromise like that. And when they compromise in Fancy Nancy's house, that means that they end up with a tree that my mom wants. And so then they put the tree on top of the car. Do you see this? As you drive around the town and that kind of stuff, you might see trees on top of people's cars because they're gonna go put them in their houses. And um, you can see they're driving through their very cute town that's also decorated for Christmas. Make sure that you check out and see the places that our town is decorated at Christmas. So they're already all the way up to Christmas Eve. They wait until now to decorate the tree, but you guys might be doing it earlier, like Miss Ann has her tree up already. On Christmas Eve, we get out all the ornaments. Some were grandpa's when he was a little boy. These are heirlooms, my mom says. That's fancy for things that are old and valuable. So there may be ornaments or stuff that you put on your tree that your mom might have had for a really long time, your dad might have had for a really long time, it might have come down from their mom or dad, your grandma or grandpa, or your aunt or uncle, or somebody else gave them to them. Your favorite ornament that you get to put on the tree every single year. Those kind of ornaments can be the fancy and old heirloom ornaments that get passed down and given away to people in your family or people that you love, that kind of thing. 
So here is very important. Here is our tree topper. Isn't it just gorgeous? I bought it last summer with all of my birthday money. It's never too early to prepare for Christmas, so says Nancy. And you can tell she's very excited about this tree topper. Look at, she's like hugging it and cuddling it like it's her favorite toy. She's very excited, as is her little sister. We always wait for grandpa to decorate the tree. He'll be here very soon. So they can't decorate the tree until grandpa gets there. So they have to do some waiting. And so while they wait, they're gonna make Christmas cookies, which is a good thing to do with your waiting. Maybe you guys have a special recipe that you always make every single year to make Christmas cookies. Because again, like we were talking about, there are these things that we do around Christmas that we do every single year that mom likes to do, that dad likes to do, that you might like to do, or your grandma or grandpa, your aunt or uncle, or whatever grown up you have in your life that you spend time with, there are some things that they might like to do and that you can share this together. That's what kind of makes the holiday time special. So they're making their Christmas cookies and my sister helps with the sprinkles. Look at that. She like put all the sprinkles, look at how many sprinkles, like she put the entire thing of sprinkles on one cookie. That's a little bit too much sprinkles, even though Miss Ann thinks that there should always be lots of sprinkles. Mmm, delectable. Do you like that word, delectable? You can try it out, delectable. That is fancy for it being yummy. That means it tastes really, really good. Delectable, it's a good word. Guess which one I decorated. Can you guys guess which one Nancy decorated? On the top, and I think it has a big giant N on it. Have you ever put your first letter on a cookie that you decorated in sprinkles? Maybe you wanna try that. Now, I finish wrapping all the presents. Look at that, she's in her very fancy room. She has it all decorated, and she's wrapped all of the presents up. And she put their names on it or who is going to go to who. Maybe that's something that you do at Christmas too. Maybe you might want to start thinking about what you might want to give to the other people in your family if you guys do gifts. So it doesn't always have to be something that you buy. Maybe you want to make something because I have a feeling that Nancy made a lot of those presents. This quilt is for Maribel. Maribel is Nancy's doll. Put lace on anything and voila, it's fancy. Voila is a fancy word for, look at this, it's French. And you can tell that Nancy is made probably a bunch of these presents because she is putting lace on a, a new blanket for Mirabella and, or Mirabelle, sorry, Nancy, it's Mirabelle. And she's using a stapler to do that. So she probably made a bunch of those presents. She also made a teeny tiny Christmas card for her. Now here's another thing you can do. Next we go caroling, which is fancy for singing Christmas songs. You can see they went to, I think they're very fancy neighbor, and they're singing, deck the halls with boughs of holly, fa la 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 la, and they're playing a big horn and smashing together, I think two pan tops and the dog is howling and she looks into it though. So that's another thing you could do during the holidays. You could sing some Christmas songs. Which one do you know? I bet you guys know Jingle Bells or Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Those are usually the top two that kids tell me, but maybe you have another favorite one that you do. So they did all of that stuff. The cookies, the present wrapping, and the going around caroling to wait until grandpa gets there, but grandpa is still not there. So we plead with our parents. Pleading is like begging, only fancier. It sounds like this. Please, 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 please. Can we just put up the tree topper now? And they said yes, because look. Ooh la la, everything it says on the box is true. It spins, it flashes off and on, and it changes color, and it is so beautiful. Look at that, isn't this beautiful? Nancy is very happy, look at this, she can't contain it. She's like, oh, so beautiful. But Grandpa still isn't there, and they still have to wait. Sometimes I think 
for kids, because I talk to a lot of you guys, that waiting is the hardest part of the holidays. And it feels like there's always something else that you have to wait and do. Like just after you finish the one thing that you're really excited to do, holiday shopping with your family, like you were waiting to do that for a while. As soon as you finish doing that, then you have to wait to wrap the presents or you're waiting to go and see Santa and you finally get to do that and then you have to wait to go do something else. Sometimes we wanna do everything at the same time. Maybe the waiting is a good part because if we did everything at the same time, then we would get bored and we would like have nothing else to look forward to. So I think that maybe the waiting is kind of good. And I think up until now, Nancy has been doing a really good job because she has been finding other stuff to do, like other stuff that she's happy to do. Maybe you would want to play a board game. Maybe you would want to watch a holiday movie. Maybe you would want to listen to some music. Maybe you might want to read a book. Come to the library. We have tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of holiday books. Find more stuff to look forward to instead of just waiting for the one thing. So let's look at how Nancy does with the waiting. So my dad says that grandpa called, he'll be here any minute. We wait and we wait, they're sitting by the door, they're pacing around, that means walking back and forth, and wait some more. How can a minute take so long? Nancy's getting a little bit frustrated. She's getting really bored with waiting. And sometimes when you get bored with waiting, you don't make the best choices. Frenchie is not as patient as I am. I think she's about done waiting. So I unwrap one of her presents, a tug toy. I think this is one of the presents that Nancy got for her. Frenchie is, by the way, if you didn't figure this out already, is Nancy's dog. Frenchie is strong. Frenchie's pulling on one side, but I'm stronger. Nancy's pulling on the other side. And we're pulling back and forth, and I pull really hard. Can you guys guess what's happening? Do you see what's in the background right here? Oops! She bashes right into the tree. Do you see this? The tree sways back and forth. Oh no, oh no, oh no, look out below, what's happening? The tree chopper is flying right off the top of the tree. Yikes, spikes, yikes, guys. What do we think? I'm worried. Oh, we were right. The tree topper smashes to pieces. I am devastated, which is upset and sad at the same time, only a zillion times worse. Look at, she's very upset. Oh, look at how smashed it is. Just then, Grandpa arrives right after the tree topper smashes. And I tell him what happened. Look at that. The poor, the poor tree topper has lost her head. Well, when life gives you cracked eggs, you make eggnog, he says. That's what Grandpa says when she shows him. What does that mean, I ask? It means you improvise. That's a fancy word for using whatever's around to make something. So look at Grandpa's got a lot of stuff in his hands right there. He's got pom-poms. It looks like he has um, like a red plate and some bows and some ribbon and some pipe cleaners. So they make a new one, which I think is really great because otherwise Nancy could be really sad and crying forever and Christmas is totally ruined. But right away, they make a new tree topper with glitter and pom-poms and ribbons. Grandpa says, one day you'll have your own family and you'll tell them how we made this together. I hope that it stays together for that long, but we're gonna cross our fingers. Oh, I said, it's going to be an heirloom. Remember what an heirloom was? Old, special, old, been around for a long time, fancy. It is very pretty, look at them. It's a star. It's got all the pom-poms and the world on it. Looks like there's definitely glitter involved. Decorating the tree is so much fun. There's no such thing as too much tinsel, I keep telling everyone. She's throwing tinsel all over the tree. Look at, and everybody's getting together. There's lots of other people there. 
it's really nice. Like some people are singing their holiday songs. There's babies there. There's more people coming with presents. It looks like the fancy neighbor is there too. It's nice. Hopefully we can all get together this Christmas and see each other. Only one word describes how magnificent, joyous, and sparkly Christmas morning is. Splendiferous. <laughs> so you say a splendiferous holiday morning. And do you guys know what splendiferous is? That, pretty sure, is a made up word but if you know Miss Anne, you know that Miss Anne makes up words all the time. But I think that this one is a pretty great one. Splendiferous. What do you think? It means wonderful and awesome and great and fancy even. So I hope that all of your Christmas preparation time is very splendiferous and that you come back and visit with me for the rest of this month because we will be doing a bunch of holiday stories. So this is just the first one. We'll be doing some new ones. We're gonna do some classic ones. And I hope that you can hang out with me and that we'll see each other again soon. And have a happy rest of your week. Bye, you guys. Mm -hmm.